Paige Sporanic is not only one of the most stunning ladies out there when it comes to sheer beauty, but also one of the biggest names in women's golf, and she doesn't even play golf anymore. What makes her name so common in the golf world is mainly her glamorous lifestyle and extravagant persona. So in this video, we'll be taking you through everything there is to know about Paige Sporanic's crazy lifestyle. From the wild things to the shocking events to a future with Tom Brady, there's hundreds of secrets to cover, but to not waste your time, we summarized it all in less than 10 minutes. So stick with us until the end and prepare to be surprised. Paige Sporanic was born in March 1993 in Wheat Ridge, Colorado to a father Dan and a mother Annette. Both her parents were of Croatian descent and both raised Paige and her older sister Lexi in Monument, Colorado. So it's no surprise really that Paige eventually ended up in sports, having been born into a very athletic family. Her dad was a member of the University of Pittsburgh Panthers football team and he was a top player back in his day, winning the 1976 National College Championship with the Panthers. Paige's mom was not a sportswoman, but ask any ballerina how much physical fitness it takes to become a pro and you'll know that Annette being a professional ballerina is quite a testimony of her athleticism. Even Paige's older sister Lexi was sports inclined and was on a college athletic scholarship competing on Stanford's track team. Now coming from a sporty family turned out to be a big push for young Paige, but you'd be surprised to find out she wasn't always on the golf course. Growing up, she was a gymnast from a young age and even had dreams of competing in the Olympics. Sadly, this dream couldn't be realized due to a broken kneecap injury she suffered for the second time when she was only 12 years old. This pushed her towards playing golf and the golf world is thankful, not for the injury per se, but definitely to have a gem like Sporanic. From age 6 to 12, when she was on her journey to becoming an Olympic gymnast, Paige trained about 7 hours daily, 6 days a week. Where was the time for schooling then? Well, Paige was homeschooled from when she was in the 5th grade till high school, before enrolling at the University of Arizona on a golf scholarship. However, she spent only a year in Arizona before transferring to San Diego State University due to the difficult transition from homeschooling to a normal educational setup. Now, if you've heard or read anything about Paige Sporanic, you'd probably have been told that she earned a bachelor's degree in communications from San Diego State University. Yes, she did attend the university to study communications, but she in fact didn't make it to graduation. That's right, she recently revealed on an episode of a podcast playing around with Paige Renee while talking to her friend Dan Register that she didn't make it to graduation but dropped out a semester before graduation because she went viral on social media. Paige took the golf course to bounce back from losing her gymnastic dreams thanks to her dad. Little did she know that was where she would become the renowned star she is today. She was a natural really, winning five tournaments in seven tries on Colorado's junior golf circuit during her early years on the golf course. Before she got the scholarship to the University of Arizona, she was already a top five college recruit, a two-time West Region Player of the Year and a first team All-American as a member of the future Collegians World Tour. Impressive already and she wasn't slowing down. By May 2016, Sporanic made her debut on the developmental Cactus Tour at the Las Colinas Club in Queen Creek, Arizona, and by her third start, she earned her first tour win in a sudden death playoff against Hannah O'Sullivan, the then top-ranked amateur in the world at Scottsdale's Orange Tree Country Club. She competed in many other events on the Cactus Tour, including the Scottish Open and the Ladies European Tour, before attempting to go pro through the LPGA qualifying tournament twice in 2016. But after not earning a car to play on the professional circuit, she called it a day on a golf career in December of the same year, aged only 23. She has since described the nature of pro golf as too tense for her mental health and has stated that she performs better on the green when it's just for fun rather than competitively. Paige also managed to get into controversies with professional golf bodies concerning gender-related issues and her dressing on the course. Add these all together and it's no surprise that she didn't go pro really. Paige Sporanic might not have made it professionally as a golfer, but she's definitely made a name for herself both outside and around the world of sports. We mean a net worth of $3 million definitely means you're doing something right. She achieved this impressive estimated net worth mainly through her social media presence. She was already a major influencer before calling it day on her golf career and hanging her clubs opened up more room and time for her to focus on a job as an influencer and model. 
She has a strong social media presence with over 3.5 million followers on Instagram, over 306,000 subscribers on YouTube, more than 3.5 million followers on Facebook, and 700,000 fans following her on Twitter. If you need an idea of just how successful her social media career is, here's a stat. Top golfers like Tiger Woods earn as much as $11,000 per post and Pace Baranek earns about $14,000. Isn't that just crazy? Although she no longer participates actively as a golfer, Paige has remained relevant in the golf world, using her social media presence to address issues concerning female golf in particular. Back in 2017, she took to her social media and a Fortune magazine op-ed piece to speak against the LPGA Tour's newly introduced stricter dress code that restricts necklines, leggings and short skirts. Despite getting criticism from some who felt she was one of those the LPGA was trying to curb, Sporadic has still continued to use her exposure to promote her anti-cyberbullying campaign and continue to fight for a woman's right to feel comfortable in her own skin. Besides social media, Paige has also amassed her net worth through modeling, having been featured in magazines such as Sports Illustrated, Swimsuit Edition and Golf Digest. She also recently launched her calendar, modeling for a brand with an amalgamation of her super sassy modeling pictures. She also began writing a monthly column in Golf Magazine in the December 2018 issue, and in June 2022, Spranick was named the sexiest woman alive in Maxim's 2022 Hot 100 list, becoming the first athlete to attain the number one spot in the Hot 100 list. Not bad, not bad at all. She also has lucrative endorsement deals with brands like Mizzen & Main, Philip Stein Watches, 18 Birdies and Cybersmile. Also a brand ambassador for 18 Birdies to help market its golf app nationwide, signed with Parsons Extreme Golf PXG, to represent its golf clubs in social media and television ads, and is a brand ambassador and on-air personality for global sportsbook operator PointBet, where she is a significant shareholder. With social media revenue, modeling and endorsement, it's a surprise that Pay still finds time to maintain her beautiful look with her multiple income streams. And what about her love life? After all, she is the sexiest woman alive, so what has she been up to regarding her relationship? Well, it's fair to say Sporadic hasn't had it as easy when it comes to her love life as she has in looking absolutely stunning every time. She once had an ex-boyfriend who leaked her nude photo online after they broke up, and after that settled, it was reported in 2016 that she was engaged to sports trainer and former minor league baseball player Steven Tinoco. Tinoco had previously been drafted by the Tampa Bay Rays in 2010 and played on several minor league teams from 2010 until 2015, before starting his own venture called 606 Fitness located out of Scottsdale. Paige and Tinoco were pictured at events and red carpets together before finally wedding in 2018. Spranick likes to keep her love life under the cover from the media, so the details are unknown, but what we do know is that in 2020, the couple split. Tinoco has since remarried and is expecting a child with his new wife. It was only recently in 2022 that she confirmed the divorce first during an Instagram Q&A and later during an episode of her podcast, Playing A Around, where she said, I'm recently divorced and yeah, just kind of getting a fresh start and I'm excited about it. Many have been wondering how much she's looking for a fresh start and recently we might have found our answer. In November 2022, a fan going by Dave Smith or at Dave Sports God on Twitter made quite the suggestion that would yield one of the sport greatest power couples tweeting, If I were Tom Brady, I'd call at Paige Sporanic, 29 years old, incredibly hot, recently divorced and a former professional athlete who would understand and support what he does for a living and Brady loves to play golf. Now this would be a power couple. Given the seven-time Super Bowl winner is recently divorced like Sporanic, a sports person like Sporanic and also used to the spotlight like Sporanic, it's hard to argue the scent in this fan's tweet. And just when people began to ship the two pro athletes and interact with the tweet, Sporanic replied, and the reply was more or less of a green light for Brady, reading, You guys are so sweet, thank you. It takes no effort to be nice, so I always try to do my part to make someone's day better. Well, nothing has been confirmed yet, but given the two had previously had a similar interaction on Twitter in 2020, when Brady struggled at an event at the Medalist Golf Club and Sporanic tweeted about how she nearly offered to open an OnlyFans account if Brady made par, which he eventually did, it'll be no surprise to see the two eventually give the power couple thing a try.